Hi, I'm Declan Conroy, Editor-in-Chief of Food Chemical News, and I'm here with Joan Murphy, Hi. Uh, Senior Editor, who is also our lead correspondent on the Food Safety Modernization Act. Uh, Joan, uh, the Obama administration has just released its 2017 budget request. Uh, what does the budget say about FDA's plans for FISMA next year and possibly beyond? Well, right, right away it was met with disappointment uh, from state regulators who have to implement FISMA, mostly on the produce rule. Uh, don't see much more money on that. And um, with industry, because it's laden with industry fees to pick up the, the cost of FISMA, which is dead on arrival in Capitol Hill. So the question is, with the money that FDA got, they got a sizable increase last year of $104 million. But for the year, for the coming year, what are they going to be able to do with the money that they are saying that they that they need, the $25 million increase? Uh -huh. And really two things they've whittled it down to is state, helping the states make this national integrated food safety network. And the second thing is imports. And that is going to be a giant undertaking for FDA. Okay. They're going to need a lot of money for that. Okay. Well, one uh, point that we need to uh, discuss is ins inspections and how they may change yes. uh, in, as the agency uh, proceeds with implementation of these five new rules and two yeah. additional ones that mm -hmm. will be coming along in the, the next few months. So can you say anything about inspections and how they will be changing? Yeah, they're going to be changing uh, quite considerably. FDA has plans. They've had implementation meetings one public, at least one public meeting on that. They're talking about a two-tier system they're looking into where they look at a, uh, headquarters, the records at a, a food company's headquarters, and then go to the plants. That's, they're thinking about that. They've also, in the midst of realigning uh, their Office of Regulatory Affairs, where their inspectors are going to be much more specialized when they come to food plants, and that will make a difference. You won't have a medical device inspector looking at a dairy facility. You know, it's, they're trying to make them very specialized, which is very popular with food companies, that they'll know what they're doing. They want to do some sort of training with, maybe with industry, so there's consistency in the way they're interpreting FISMA, but, uh, and they're also talking about food safety culture. They're trying to figure out a way to judge that in a company. And a big part of what I think FDA's it's a major um, emphasis is they want to educate food companies first. Uh -huh. They have this huge food safety modernization program, and a lot of companies have never done some of the things that they're asking them to do, to write these food safety plans, to do environmental monitoring. I mean, some of the large companies, they're already doing this, uh -huh. but for a lot of the middle and small companies, they haven't. So what FDA is talking about is having inspectors go in probably in 20, um, 2017 mm -hmm. and uh, maybe when it goes into effect in the fall of 2016, but probably 2017, and really start educating them first before yeah. giving them warning letters saying, you know, you're not, you're not complying. Yeah. So it, this is a radical change. Yeah. FISMA has a lot to say about imports and that's a you know, that's obviously a huge component of a lot of these uh, mm -hmm. different rules all you know yeah. numerous huge and complicated yeah. pieces of, of yeah. uh, regulations um, as in terms of the outreach and education needed to communicate to the to companies producing in other countries mm -hmm. for export to the United States uh, that seems to be a huge lift for, for oh. the agency and, and for everyone, frankly. And I go to these meetings and a lot of people say, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of food companies that have never even heard of FISMA in some of these countries. So, uh, yes, that's going to be a giant, giant undertaking. And um, that's why FDA definitely needs more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think food companies are already starting the process. I mean, they have to have food safety plans. This is going to be big. FDA, I think, is one of the first things they're going to look at when they come to a food plant is, do you have a food safety plan? And uh, that is something a lot of companies have. Uh, they already have HACCP kind of operations, but they might have to repackage them into their food safety plans. So um, it's, there, there are pieces that companies probably already have, but 
Yes, that is what FDA is going to look for. That's the number one thing. And I think if you don't have a food safety plan, that is going to be a red mark for FDA. Okay. So that's going to how I think that's how it's going to start in, in enforcing it. Um, they're going to be looking at the big picture first and then get into the details. Okay. John, we're about running out of time on this, so let's wrap it up and hopefully we can check back in for uh, you know an update yeah. when, as things move forward. Sounds good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Sure.